All right, just weeks to go before the end of the year. A little bit of time and focus could help you make or save money. Joining us now to explain is CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, one of your ideas is to jump on taxes now, which is something I need. Oh my gosh, I'm the extension queen. Oh, you are? Uh -huh. Oh, interesting. Uh -huh. The reason why I'm trying to help people focus right now is yes. now is the time where you can make a difference. Mm. And what do I mean by that? Well, if you go to Jill's favorite website, irs.gov, best website, <laughs> it really is. Um, if you go there, they have an estimator, a withholding estimator. What you're trying to see is, have I had enough money withheld to pay my tax bill, which is, by the way, coming up in just a few months. If you need to actually increase your withholding, doing it now, you've got a few pay periods before mm -hmm. we have the end of the year, so you might be able to make a difference. If you're self-employed, maybe you need to make estimated tax payments. Go on, take a look. If you work with a CPA or with a tax preparer, now's a good time to check in, especially if something big happened in your life. I sold a house, I sold some stock, someone was born, somebody passed away. Right. These are good times to check in. Okay, and they're not freaked out right now. No, exactly yeah, right. right. <laughs> April, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, should we be making additional retirement contributions? So if you have a pre-tax retirement account, a 401k, mm -hmm. a 403b, you work for a municipality, a 457 plan, when you put more money in before the end of the year, mm -hmm. you will push down your tax liability, and that can be good. The thing I always hear about from people is like, I don't have enough money. Well, there are some really cool credits that exist for people who are low income. So if you make less than $36,500 as an individual and you put money into a retirement plan, you might be entitled to a saver's credit. I think of this as like Uncle Sam is matching your contribution. Check this out. So even a little bit of money might be worth up to $2,000 for an individual, $4,000 wow. for a couple. That's pretty good, right? The ears perk up when you say thousands. Yeah. All right, now you have a tip for or some people who are saving for retirement mm. and so they're not going to face a stiff penalty. So here's the thing. When you put money away pre-tax, mm -hmm. remember what we were talking about, pre-tax, money hasn't been taxed yet. When you turn 72, the government says, we are going to require you to take money out of that account, a required minimum distribution. So if you're 72 or older and you've got an IRA account, it's pre-tax, you've got to take money out. The thing is, you've got to take a certain amount of money out every year. That RMD is based on your life expectancy. If you don't take the distribution by the end of the year, get ready for this. There is an up to 50, five zero percent excise tax levied on what you should have taken out. So if you should have taken out five grand and you didn't, you could face a $2,500 penalty. Okay, that catches your attention Exactly, also. whenever you put the sums out there, it's okay, like, oh it's my gosh. Okay, over 72, okay. a pre-tax account, not a Roth, and that is what you need to know. And you don't have to take it from every single IRA. You can take one distribution for all of your pre-tax IRA accounts. All right, lots of good tips. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Jill. Thanks. And you can see Jill regularly on CBS Mornings and the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. For more analysis, just go to JillOnMoney.com. We'll be right back.